Okay, so in this episode of Gav Details, we are going to be doing like a part two in terms of detail lighting, where we are going to be upgrading our standard halogen lamps to LED lamps. These are LE Power 20 watt LED floodlights or spotlights. I purchased them on Amazon. I did get two so that we can put them on the tripod here and um, they're 100 watt equivalent and they are daylight white in terms of color so as you can see um, it has the cage on here because the bulb and the entire housing gets really really hot which is kind of unsafe I usually only use one at a time and I kind of uh, switch off from side to side they do have bulbs on the inside that have um, ceramic tips and um, it's very easy for um, the bulb to get hot and blow out. Um, sometimes the, um, the ceramic castings on the end uh, break so um, it's probably easier uh, and more convenient to use one of these. You can see the size difference. So uh, the LED lights do have cooling fins on the back and then they do have the stands that uh, can be adjustable. These are also adjust but as you can see like the whole, the whole housing kind of moves and it's kind of flimsy. So um, the one thing that this tripod does come with automatically is a two into one uh, power cord so you can plug it in and then you can choose to either turn one on because they have on off toggle switches here uh, you can have both on one or the other whereas the LED bulbs um, are single plug and then they have their own on and off switch so uh, we're gonna go ahead and show the lighting output of one and then two bulbs for the halogen, and then we'll uh, replace one of the uh, halogens with an LED. Just has this like screw on wing nut here uh, that holds them in place. Okay, so if I can find the switch here, we're gonna turn the left light on. So that's the lighting output, please. Disregard the stock Z28 wheels and flat tires on Barney. Um, new video coming that uh, will make everybody happy, including myself. So now we're going to act, uh, turn on the second light here. So that's the lighting output for both lights. You can you can turn uh, you can turn just one housing like this or you have the handle here which you can direct both lights. So I'm going to go ahead and replace one of them with an LED light and we'll see the difference. Here's a front shot of the difference in size between the two. Okay, so now for the LED light, if I can find the switch here working in the dark. Okay, so there is your 20 watt LED. Um, like I said, it's daylight colored in terms of the color of the bulb. So I mean, it gives off uh, a fair amount of light. Obviously, you're not going to be detailing uh, using these lights solely by themselves, um, but they just help uh, show any kind of swirls or imperfections directly on uh, where you're working. Um, the handheld lights that I did a previous video on are good for like post polishing or ceramic coating application to see if you missed any spots but while you're working it's always nice to have lighting directed at the panel in which you're working so if we flip on the halogen bulb so um, it actually overtakes the LED bulb if you turn the LED bulb off there's almost a very little difference. Um, and then if you shut the halogen bulb off. So, 
Um, I am using a GoPro to do the filming, so I, w I would say that it's it's pretty accurate coming through uh, looking at the display screen here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and swap out the other one. The one thing I did notice, if I turn on the overhead lights here, for the LED light, uh, it comes with a center hole and two oval holes here. I had to use the oval hole on the one side to mount it so that the whole um, the arm here was on the mounting bracket. If I used the center it was hanging off on the side here so um, you could drill another hole here and use the same kind of setup or you could use a zip tie if you don't plan on on moving it but they are adjustable um, up and down and then you'd want to be very careful um, moving just the unit. You'd want to move your uh, entire uh, arm, mounting arm. Okay, so I learned from last time. Lights off. Switches. There is the left side and the right side. So it uh, looks like the LEDs uh, concentrate the light uh, kind of where they're pointed whereas you saw a little bit more light on that side of the car with the halogens. Like I said if you're working on a panel here you know and you're sitting off to the side here uh, you know polishing the fender and the door you can have you know the lighting uh, directed where you're at. It's also real good for your 50-50 shots when you tape off a section and you've got an LED bulb shining on both uh, both sides of the panel. One in which is you know fully paint corrected and clear and the other side which is you know scratched and swirled and all sorts of stuff. So um, we will have more videos coming like I said please disregard the uh, stock beat up uh, Z28 wheels and flat tires on the car. Um, some interesting stuff coming for the car with uh, springtime right around the corner. We also have um, not really a modification but an accessory for the GMC. Hopefully um, making a video of that tomorrow and uh, getting that accessory installed on the truck. So, so for a detail lighting episode on Gav details. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If the video helps you decide on possible lighting for your detailing setup, give it a thumbs up. I will put the links to the products below. And for more detailing videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks.